ideas that he was taught by the BMW people, and then I have another idea. So I've tried both. A couple of things happen. Normally, what you do on a BMW, it has these outriggers called cylinders, which is different than a Triumph. But um, what I you can try and do, and I don't know if this was going to work. Uh, Paul was teaching me how to be stronger. You know, your strongest legs in your body are your quads, I guess. So you should. People, in theory, tends. I mean, this thing's in a bit of a hole now, so I've got a little bit of advantage. I'll see if this works. If it doesn't, you get it up as far as you can. It might not work. <laughs> you should use your back. Quentin, help me! That's the best way. So what do you suggest you do? Well, different options. For some of the people in the room, I can do this. <laughs> 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 For about 30% of the crowd, that would work. For most of you, that would work. But uh, what we usually, when I fell in front of Lawrence, the one time that I was in front of him, I fell. And of course, what did I do first? I jumped up and I did this. What was I looking for? Lawrence, did anybody fall? No, I didn't want Lawrence to know I'd fallen, which he never found out. Until now. I think most of us panic when it's on the ground. And if the back wheel's still going, if you panic and lift it up, it takes off and yeah. falls again, from my experience. So you probably addressed this. I'm sorry I came in no, it's late. Right. But should you shut it off, do you think, if it's on the ground? Yep. yep. Has anybody experienced a BMW Boxer? Will it run on the ground? Do you think this high cylinder is getting the correct volume of oil pressure? No. So it's recommended kill the engine. Now it's fallen on this side, so I don't know if it's in gear or not. Yeah, that's right. It's fantastic because if we're on a slope, that's where I always fall. Yeah. Uh, if you pick it up, it's just going to roll away on. So, as Lawrence probably said, don't panic. It's just a motorcycle, and luckily enough, this is Lawrence's friend's bike, Chris Ellis. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's just so and uh, <laughs> there's probably four different ways. If you don't have a friend. It's a police bike, it probably has really big rounded engine guards. Police officers are taught rock it on the guard, get momentum, and then oomph it up. Uh, the BMW GS curriculum says turn your front wheel so it's pointing straight up in the air. Now the handlebar it's at its longest position, so you've got the best leverage by putting your hands on the lower bar. Sometimes the mirror will break loose a little bit. I don't know if these have on a fall, but we can adjust that because we all carry tools. Or just travel with Lawrence, he has all the tools. <laughs> then, as lo this is the worst thing you can do because of this. Especially if you're 53 and have a bad cold. <clears throat> so get down low and be careful how you lift it up because if you're too far over that mirror, <laughs> <laughs> That's probably not going to work. So just get it until the tires are on. Do you see that? And then it's just one straight motion. Oh, a nice drain. What about the kickstand? Kick yeah, you kickstand. Got the kickstand. Luckily, there's a Kawasaki on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> because adrenaline can actually cause the bike to go the other side. And I have done that. Broken these turn signals, threw the bike up, and broke those turn signals. <laughs> And then once the once the bike's up